For years, Elon Musk has kept the world guessing with the promise of an affordable Tesla. The long-awaited $25,000 electric vehicle has become almost mythical, announced, delayed, and debated since as early as 2020. Many had started to doubt whether it would ever materialize. But what if the real surprise isn't that Tesla missed the mark, but that they might have surpassed it entirely? Tesla's next-generation EV, provisionally named the Model 2, is rumored to arrive with a jaw-dropping price tag, just $9,875. At first glance, it feels like wishful thinking. But when we dig into recent patents, factory strategy shifts, and a trail of credible leaks, that seemingly impossible figure starts to make sense. As Elon Musk explained, We have the most innovative uh, structural design, the largest castings ever used. Um, we have the, the best manufacturing technology at Tesla, better manufacturing technology than companies that have been doing it. Than companies that have been doing it. This isn't just corporate hype. It reflects Tesla's full-scale bet on gigacasting, modular assembly, and streamlined vehicle platforms to cut both complexity and cost. Before we dive into the leaks, the tech, and the speculation, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a single breakthrough. 1. How could Tesla build a car for under $10,000? One of the biggest cost-saving breakthroughs that might make the 9875 Model 2 possible is Tesla's use of Gigapress technology. Traditionally, building the underbody of a car involves assembling between 300 to 400 individual metal components, each requiring separate stamping, welding, fastening, and quality checks. This process is labor-intensive, robot-heavy, and slow. But with Tesla's Giga Press, a house-sized die casting machine capable of exerting 6,000 to 9,000 tons of pressure, nearly all of those parts can be consolidated into just two or three massive aluminum castings. For example, the Model Y's rear underbody was reduced from 70 parts to a single piece using this method. This radical simplification has huge ripple effects. Fewer parts mean fewer robots on the assembly line, fewer welds and inspections, and far fewer points of potential failure. Labor time can be slashed by up to 30%, and the required floor space for assembly can shrink by over 20%. According to auto manufacturing analysts, gig casting can cut per unit production costs by anywhere from $500 to $1,000, potentially shaving off 20% to 30% of the cost to produce the chassis alone. And when you're aiming to sell a car for under 10 grand, saving even $800 per unit could make or break the business model. There's growing buzz that Tesla isn't just reinventing the car, but the very way cars are built. According to leaks and insider commentary, the so-called unbox process might soon replace the century-old moving assembly line. Instead of dragging one car down a straight conveyor belt, Tesla could be building four major parts. The front, the rear, the end, and the battery platform, all at the same time in separate zones. Then these modules are joined together in a final step, more like assembling a smartphone than a car. Why does this matter? Because it's not just about speed. By breaking down the build into independent work streams, Tesla could dramatically reduce bottlenecks and machine downtime. Some estimates suggest this method could shrink factory size by 40% and cut vehicle assembly time by nearly half. More importantly, it might allow Tesla to scale production faster than anyone else, launching a car that's under $10,000, not just in theory, but at global scale. Now let's talk location because where the Model 2 might be built could play a massive role in why it could hit that sub-10,000 price. All signs point to Gigafactory Mexico as the likely launch site. This isn't just about cheap labor. Wages in northern Mexico can be up to 80% lower than in California. But more importantly, Tesla seems to be designing a factory ecosystem from the ground up. Optimized specifically for high-volume, ultra, low-cost EV production, Mexico offers a unique sweet spot. It's close to the U.S. market, has access to major shipping ports, and benefits from trade agreements that help bypass the kinds of tariffs currently complicating EV production in China. At the same time, there's growing speculation that Tesla could split production between Mexico and Gigafactory Texas. 
that would give the company a highly flexible tariff-resistant supply chain. In today's world of unpredictable trade policies and rising geopolitical tension, this kind of crossbar strategy might quietly be Tesla's smartest move yet. So when you combine automated megacasting, modular assembly, and low-cost labor hubs, it starts to make sense how Tesla could drive the cost of a new EV down to under $10,000 without sacrificing core features. Which car company do you know that turns 400 parts into two and still builds faster, cheaper, and smarter than anyone else? Comment Tesla wins if you know the answer. If you know the two, what might you get for $9,875? One of the biggest breakthroughs behind the Model 2's rumor $9,875 price tag may lie in its battery. Instead of the usual 4,680 cells, Tesla is expected to use next-generation LFP batteries with dry, electrode technology. This move could lower costs while improving safety and lifespan, making it a smart fit for a mass-market EV. What's more, these LFP cells may follow a modified 4,680 Gen 2 format. Still 46 mm wide, but only 70 mm tall compared to the original 80 mm. That 10 mm reduction might seem small, but it improves heat dissipation and allows more efficient battery packaging. Combined with the dry coating process, energy density could rise by up to 15%. As a result, the Model 2 might offer an estimated real-world range of 300 to 350 miles. And thanks to compatibility with Tesla's V4 superchargers, it could recharge from 10 to 80 percent in under 10 minutes. An impressive feat for any EV, let alone one that might cost under $10,000. But Tesla doesn't seem to be stopping at just upgrading the cells. These next-G batteries are expected to be integrated into what insiders are calling the Structural Battery Pack 2.0. Rather than treating the battery as a standalone component tucked under the floor, Tesla may engineer it to become part of the vehicle's actual frame. Think of it as the backbone of the car, supporting everything from crash protection to overall rigidity. This approach could significantly cut down on weight, enhance safety in collisions, and improve driving dynamics by lowering the center of gravity. In short, the battery would not just power the car, it would help shape its entire performance. It is a smart fusion of form and function that pushes the boundaries of how EVs are built. The interior of the Model 2, 